with Deer 30 Outdoors, and this is your hunting tip of the week. You know, it's no secret now that the Deer 30 team loves our trail cameras, and we each set a couple cameras each year. But there's one particular tip I can give you that will definitely help you improve the quality of pictures and the number of deer that you capture. And that is to remember that the trail camera is triggered by movement. And so you want to angle the camera to where you're going to get the most movement from a deer. What part of the body? is legs. You have four moving legs, it's definitely going to be enough to trigger the laser on these cameras and get you to snap that picture quickly and as soon as possible so that you can possibly get that deer's head rather than his tail. Your camera setup will depend on the terrain which you're hunting. I particularly like to keep the camera about two to two and a half feet off the ground, again to capture those deer's legs and get that movement. Sometimes if you're on a sloping terrain, you may need to raise or lower the camera even farther. A second tip that will be helpful is to make sure that the movement you're capturing is the deer and not the surrounding vegetation. These tree branches here are definitely going to be in the way and any slight breeze is going to be enough to move those and trigger the camera. So you'll want to trim these out of your way. Get those branches and any tall grass or brush that might be in the way that could also trigger the camera. I got a bush hog the deer 13 can borrow.